Hello everyone, I am Empress Queen Tay from Empress Queen Tay Tarot and Oracle here on YouTube. And Miss Nicole from Spiritual Guidance Academy has given me the honor, the pleasure to be able to bring you guys 12 Oracle and Tarot readings, okay? Such an honor. I am so blessed to be able to do this, okay? So with that being said, you guys, please do subscribe to Spiritual Guides Academy channel, okay? Do leave us a comment. Let us know how you thought about the video. Did it resonate with you, okay? Also, you guys, you know tarot energy is fluid. Take what is for you. Leave what is not, okay? Then also these energies that I'm reading for this um, these oracle spreads, this tarot, the messages for me are a timeless. Divine Holy Spirit does not give me a time on them. Okay, so they may resonate with you now. You may come back to them. Other parts may resonate with you later. Okay, so on and so forth. Whenever you read this, whenever you get this message, okay, just know that it's meant for you to hear it when it's meant for you to hear it. Okay, so with that being said, I'm going to start this reading off, you guys, with the Keepers of the Light Oracle deck. And I'm going to see what energy is coming out for the collective. Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, and Holy Spirit. This is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. What energy is coming out for them? Archangels, Ancestors, Father God, Divine, and Holy Spirit. What energy is coming out for the collective? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit. Thank you. And we have focused intention. Think about what you desire. Set your sights high. Expect the best possible outcome. Okay, and I do get a heavy Sagittarius spirit off of this, okay? Might be a lot of Sagittarius watching this video, okay? You might have a lot of Sagittarius in your chart or something like that. But overall, I get the energy of needing to focus on what it is that you desire, okay? What it is that you really want to get real down to the nitty gritty of, of the point of it all. Where do you want to start? Okay, and if you started, where else do you want to take it to? Okay, what are you really desiring about what you're setting your goals and your focus on? Okay, bottom of the deck energy, we have divine order. Do what feel is do what you feel is right. An important lesson is unfolding. Okay, a lot of crown chakra there. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with the soul's journey deck. And we'll see what soul lesson is coming out for the collective, which you may need to pay attention to right now, which you may need to know, what you may be going through at this moment, okay? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit, this is for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Allow me to tap into their energies. What is coming through for the collective? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, and Holy Spirit. Divine Holy Spirit, what's coming through for the collective? Thank you. What's coming through for the collective? Okay. And we have doubt. I release the need to know all the answers. Okay. And maybe what the collective is focusing on, you know, maybe you're not thinking so positive about the outcome you're doubting what your, you know, your your desires are. You're doubting that you can have that. Okay. Or you're releasing that and you're actually going after what it is that you want. You're actually setting your mind to focus on what it is that you really want. And you're not doubting anymore. You're releasing the need to know how everything is going to unfold. You're just going to start. You're just going to do. Okay. That's the energy that I'm getting off of that. And then we have discipline. I can accomplish what I set my mind to. That's just what I was talking about. Okay. So a lot of you are needing to get discipline. Kick out doubt and get in discipline. Okay. 
Because whatever it is that you want, when you focus on it and you get disciplined about it, it comes to fruition. Divine Holy Spirit is giving me. And then we have grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. Okay. And with this energy right here, I feel like there was a loss. There is definitely a sense of loss here. And this loss could be associated um, with doubting yourself. Okay. Without with uh, not putting the extra work in, okay, that is needed, okay. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna get an affirmation, okay. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, the divine Holy Spirit. What's the affirmation for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine Holy Spirit. What's the affirmation for the collective? Everything I touch is a success. I now establish a new awareness of success. I know I can be as successful as I make up my mind to be. I move into the winning circle. Golden opportunities are everywhere for me. Prosperity of every kind is drawn to me. Wow. This is a very powerful card here. Okay, this is a very powerful affirmation coming out for the collective. Okay, and I feel like this is all about releasing that doubt. Because when you release that doubt and you go in focused and determined, okay, appreciate every opportunity as a chance to learn something, to gain knowledge about something. Divine Holy Spirit is giving me everything. It, it rolls into a success. I now establish a new awareness of success is what spirit is giving me. It's, it's spirit is saying, but it's the overall read. I now establish a new awareness of success. Okay. Beautiful energy. So we're going to go in with the wisdom of the Oracle deck and we're going to get um, a message from the higher self, we're going to get a message from the ancestors and the guardian angels, what they want you to know, okay? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit, what's coming through for the collective that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, and Holy Spirit. What's coming through? Okay. We have higher power. We have new life. We have here and now all popping up on the cut. Okay. Changing the wind. Okay. A lot of change in the mindset. I'm feeling this is a change in the mindset. Changing the wind at the back of the deck. Okay. Something is being shifted, divinely shifted for you. Okay. For the collective that I'm reading for from their higher self. Divine Holy Spirit, thank you. And we have breathe. Okay. Meditate. Calm down. Focus your intentions in the here and the now. Is what I'm getting off of this card. Very manifesting. Very quiet. Very peaceful, very tranquil, okay, energy, okay, that your higher self is wanting you to get in, okay. Yeah, some things might be a little heavy on you right now, so I'm really feeling a lot of grounding, a lot of meditative energy, like I'm really feeling 
that you know your higher self the message is you need to get into more meditative states where you can get alone to yourself and just allow your mind to think not think you know too much about what it is that you're doing okay outside of this focus intention here but to be at peace with something okay divine holy spirit is giving me Okay, I feel like you guys, some of you may need to create like a little small area, okay, where you just go in and you just sit, okay? You just sit and you allow yourself to think and you allow your mind and you allow the Divine Holy Spirit to come to you, okay? That's the message I'm getting off of that. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the ancestors? Okay, we have a never-ending story and we have come to the edge. Okay. And I feel like that's why your higher self is wanting you to meditate and get into a quiet space because there is something here. I feel like that's associated with this doubt and this grief. Okay. Something you're telling yourself over and over and over again. Okay. Something you're very displeased with. It's something that you don't want to face. It's something that you don't want to look at. And the divine um, Holy Spirit, your ancestors are needing you to come and talk with them. Okay? Come out of this mind state that you're in, that you're telling yourself whatever you're doubting, whatever you're holding grief towards. Okay? And release that. Like come closer. Like I feel like you're you I feel like you're almost there. Like I feel like there is something that you just you won't release. It's something that you won't release with this doubt and this grief. Okay. And I feel like there is something more. There is so much more that is waiting for you. Okay. You just need to release some some thought, a never-ending story, some way of thinking. I'm getting off of this energy right here because you have this everything I touch is a success, okay? You're needing to now establish a new awareness of what success is and not stay in this story of doubt, of grief, okay? Really disciplining yourself, really going to the edge, Really pushing yourself, really focusing your intentions, but you need to get clear and take time out to find out even what that really is to allow it to come to you is what Divine Holy Spirit is saying for some of you. Divine Holy Spirit, what is the message from the guardian angels? Thank you, poised. Because there's something that's just meant for this collective. It's just meant for you. And you know exactly what it is for some of you. For some of you, you have to get up out of this never-ending story. Like you're on the cusp of it. Like you feel like you've been doing something different or trying something new. Okay? And I feel like once you focus on that, then you can start. You know, expecting, you know, uh, setting your sights high. Okay. But I feel like this is definitely a destiny card for me. Okay. Whatever it is that you've been through, this is, is it was destined for you to go through that. So that you can, you know, come and see what all this is about. Okay. I feel like your spiritual team is pulling you towards something, but it's something you're not wanting to let go with this never-ending story. It could be a relationship, could be a situation um, as a child growing up in the family home, could be a lot of never-ending stories, okay? But I'm, that's what I'm getting off of that, and something is just meant for you to turn this around. I feel like this is... Every ace in the tarot deck and this is the sun included in this card because it's like, you know, you, you're you poised for this. It was meant for you to have this. It was meant for you to go through this. Okay. You just have to keep pushing is what I'm getting off of this energy right here. 
the message from the guardian angels is that you're blessed. This is something that is meant just for you. Okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the here and now energy. Okay, you're at this crossroads here and now. You know that something is destined for you. You want to push the envelope on something, but it's something you're needing to let go of. It's some story you're perpetuating in your mind that you're needing to let go of. Divine Holy Spirit is giving me. So we're going to go in with the Angels and Ancestors Oracle deck. And this is a spread that the Divine Holy Spirit gave me just exclusively for these reads here okay this is a six card oracle spread the first card is going to be your energy the second card is going to be what's going to ground you the third card is going to be your goals your desires the fourth card is going to be energy surrounding what you need to let go of and the fifth card is going to be where you need to direct your energy slash attention the sixth card is going to be advice slash outcome. And then I'm going to go over this with a three-part um, spread, past, present, future energy. And then we may get a card um, for advice out of there too as well, okay? What's coming out? Divine Holy Spirit. Where's the energy surrounding the collective that I'm reading for? Where's the energy surrounding the collective? And we have warrior. Be fearless. Stand strong and night. Be brave and honest. Two fighter spirits. Oh. Two fighter spirits. Okay, warrior and knight. Okay, and the sword of truth is present here. Okay. And a warrior is poised for war. You know, they've been bred for war. You know, some of them trained for war, you know, as a child. So whatever this never ending story, you need to, I feel, really look at that, evaluate that, meditate on that in a different way. You know, really go in deep to what all that is. Uncover that. Okay, be fearless and stand strong. Be brave and honest. It's the energy that you are in right now. I feel like you guys are facing something head on. You guys are ready to go and take something head on because you're tired of telling yourself this never ending story. You're tired of being in a never-ending story, okay? For some of you, you're going to the edge. And you're going to be so blessed when you come up out of this. The only unpeaceful card here is this never-ending story, okay? <coughs> Excuse me, so let's get some energy. What is surrounding the collective divine Holy Spirit? Put his ground in the collective. And we have. See beyond current situations. Seer. And we have peacekeeper. Letting go of the need to be right. Okay. I feel yet even though. You know. Whatever this story is. However you're moving through this. However you're dancing with the divine Holy Spirit. The universe. To get to where you need to go. To get to your success. Okay. You're definitely. <clears throat> excuse me. You're definitely seeing something beyond a current situation. You're definitely seeing beyond your 3D right now. Okay. And you have this peaceful spirit of the way you're going about it. You might need to get a little disciplined in some things. Spirit is giving me. Release some doubt about some things. Okay, this never ending story, any grief that's attached to anything that is in your past and that is not, you know, that can't go with you in your future spirit is giving me. Not for all the abundance and the success. Everything I touch is a success. Everything I touch is a success is the affirmation that is coming out. And you cannot have that energy of past grief and doubt tagging along because it is going to like hinder this energy going forward 
Okay, and a lot of you guys understand this already. That's why you're standing strong. That's why you're being brave and honest with yourself about what it is that you're going through. Okay, you're not letting anything disturb your peace right now, I'm feeling. Okay, well, that's the energy that you're going to be getting into. Okay, peacekeeper is a lot with, I feel a lot with this breeze energy here. Okay, that is what's grounding you. Okay, that's what your higher self is telling you. If you're not doing at this time, you need to get grounded. You need to just meditate, get in a peaceful place and allow the team to speak with you. Because if you're constantly on the go, constantly doing this, constantly doing that, you don't have any time for the spirit to speak to you. Okay. So we're going to go in with what is the goal and the desire of the collective divine Holy Spirit? What is the goal and the desire? Divine Holy Spirit, what is the goals and desires of the collective? Thank you. All right. So we have high priestess energy, harness mystic power. Okay. And I feel like this is what you guys are tapping into here with this focused intention right here. But it is, is, you're trying to maneuver some things I feel here. Okay, it's this discipline card is coming out for a reason. Okay, some of you guys are moving into this energy. You're moving in this energy as we speak. And others of you, you're needing to get into this energy here. Harnessing everything that is around you. Tapping in. Okay, using your high priestess energy to tap in with the divine Holy Spirit. The spiritual guides. Okay, all that surrounds you so they can lead you. Because you are a divinely protected individual. Okay. Let's, Divine Holy Spirit, what is in the position of what the collective need to let go? Okay, we have wait for important information, Oracle. So what Oracle and Seer here, you're seeing beyond a current situation, but you're not, you're not listening for when to move. Okay, for some of you, you're cutting off hearing. You know, you're seeing, but you're cutting off hearing. So you got to be allowed to let yourself hear as well. Okay. That's what I feel here. Okay. It's something about hearing information I'm getting off of this. Okay. And though you're seeing beyond something, you're needing to wait until it, it, it is right. What you're seeing is falling into line. What you're seeing in your 5D is falling a little bit into line into what you're manifesting, what you're intending and creating. So you're needing to wait for this information before you make a move on a particular thing is what I'm getting off of that card right there. Okay. So I feel like it's something that you don't need to rush. You need to let go of a rush here. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit. Where should the collective direct their energy? Where should the collective direct their energy? Archangels, ancestors, thank you. And we have higher priestess, intend and create. Okay. Intend and create. So you need, to, and that is that focus. That's that focus energy right there. Okay. You need to focus on what it is that you want. What it is that you really desire to have. And then actually start to create it. Send it out into the universe. Okay. Move in uh, energy as if it's already happening. Pop quietly, peacefully. Standing strong in what it is that you want. Okay. Not doubting what it is that you can have. Releasing anything that is of the old. Okay. Actually manifesting what it is that you want for others of you. I really feel like you guys are, you know, <clears throat> either you are in a divine counterpart situation or one is coming in for you. Okay. Or there is just a good balance of masculine and feminine energy that's going on with the collective that's resonating with this spread right here. Okay. I feel like it's definitely, yes, definitely a good balance of masculine and feminine energy. I see here all across the board. Okay. Divine Holy Spirit. What is the advice? 
Divine Holy Spirit, what is the advice for the collective? What is the advice? Thank you. Drew it. Hold the space. Hold this space that you're in right now, okay? Releasing any grief, any doubt, okay? Because you have the everything I touch is a success. Okay, for some of you guys, you've been successful before. It was just that maybe you went through a bump in the road or something happened along this path, you know. But now you're back on it and you need to hold this space here of moving peacefully yet strong and mighty and just focusing on what it is that you want and setting your goals high. Okay, releasing whatever story that you were telling yourself, releasing anything of the past. And keep pushing the envelope is what I'm hearing, okay? Because you're destined for a certain situation here, okay? Spirit also wants me to show the bottom of the deck energy, okay? Earth guardian, stay rooted and grounded, okay? That's a lot what I was saying about, you know, this um, breathe card. Getting yourself grounded is very important here, okay? With all this energy that is going on here, okay? I feel like... The energy that I'm reading for, the collective that I'm reading for, have went through a lot, have experienced a lot in childhood and in through relationships. But you're moving through that or you're trying to navigate your way through that. Okay. And you just want to know if something is destined for you, what you're seeing and what you're feeling right now. Is it truly dest is it truly destined for you? Because you're fighting, you know, you're fighting against something here. You fight against a, a never-ending story here, okay? You're standing your ground. You're being brave about this situation, okay? But you're just needing to come on and tap further into all that is surrounding you, I feel, okay? With this high priestess energy. So, let's go in with the tarot, and we're going to see what's coming out, okay? Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit, what's coming out for the collective, that I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Archangels, ancestors, Father God, divine, Holy Spirit. What is coming out for the collective? That I may be resonating with either now or at a later date. Yeah, some of you guys are ready to take this journey. Though you are in grief about something. Some of you guys are not ready to take this journey because you're just... Um, or no, you are ready to take this journey, but you're moving past, you know, some issue here with the five of cups and the fool on showing up on the cut. Okay. So let's cut. Spirit is also giving me some of you guys were in a situation where, um, you, you're kind of in your head about it. You're kind of very, a little bit emotional, kind of, you know, is stopping you here with this never ending story. Cause I kept seeing the eight of swords on the back of the cut too. Um, spirit is saying, you know, you're needing to come out of your head, out of your emotions, out of a certain situation. Okay. For some of you, it's like a divine masculine twin flame type of journey situation. For others of you, it's a situation like of childhood trauma. Okay. Okay, and for others of you, it's just something that is a, is something you're perpetuating in your mind. You're telling yourself over and over again. Spirit says off the top of the deck. Okay, we have the Six of Wands. We have the Ten of Cups. We have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Strength card. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Wands. We have the Ten of Swords. And we have the Four of Swords. Okay? So, I feel like the energy that is coming out here for the collective in the past. Okay? You guys moved on from something. Okay? You, you moved on from something. You're balancing your energies out. Even though I feel like in the present energy, something is trying to creep up. Okay? But like I said, I do feel like something solid is going to come in for as a divine counterpart for you guys. But it's, it's not going to come in when you're in this five of pentacles feeling right here, feeling left out, feeling lonely. Okay. And maybe some doubt or grief or, you know, something about the way you moved on. Okay. Uh, or, you know, 
not having a certain someone in your life, you know, reaching a certain level and then, you know, not having anyone around is what I'm getting off of this as well. But I feel like something stable is going to come in, but it isn't it's I don't see it coming in quickly. I see you building yourself up. I see you building your strength right now. I see you, you know, facing whatever hardships, whatever this never ending story head on. Okay, taming the thoughts in your mind. I see that right now. Also, in the future with the Seven of Swords and the um, Ten of Swords and the Four of Wands, I feel that you guys start reflecting on things. You you stand your ground and you put um, an end to a lot of torturous battles, a lot of mental battles, a lot of mental conflict, a lot of backstabbing, you know, uh, letdowns, regrets. I, I, I see you standing your ground on placing a lot of burdens down a lot of way of thinking a lot of negative thinking i feel i feel you putting that down okay with the four swords energy i feel like that's what you're being stable in that's what you're focused on okay standing your ground your right is what i keep hearing in um it's what i keep hearing here is your right your right to stand your ground okay because spirit wants me to go back to this card. I now establish a new awareness of success. Okay. I feel like you guys have moved on from something and that from some of you, you're in a comfortable place now. You may be up and down in your feelings, but you're no longer really associated with a toxic person. You might feel left out for some of you or for some of you, this, you know, it might be a situation where you just, you know, left a situation or you're moving from you know, a, a person and you're feeling how good it is or you felt how good it is to just have this success on your own and to be doing a lot of things on your own, to be balancing a lot of things out on your own, even though you get lonely at some times, okay? But I do feel like something is coming in for you that is stable, that has um, a lot of potential, okay? So, I am going to leave it at that, you guys. I'm sending you nothing but love, light, and healing. Make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe. Bye.